Hello guys and welcome. Today I would like to show you how to use the batch mode in Affinity Photo. For example, if you need to just simply make and you don't really care to go one by one for all of them, all of those images, this is what you can do. Let's start with, this is just a simple image. Let's click develop, nothing changes, tab and we create a simple macro. And when we created this, this started the recording. So we can click out levels, out contrast, a little bit of change, out the colors, you can see here in the histogram the changes for those, and auto white balance. And as you can see, everything goes here to our macro. Okay, photos. What can we add else? For instance, if you know that you really often use something like contrast or clarity, you can also add here this, like let's add a little bit of contrast to everything. Just a little bit. It's always a good idea, I would say. And let's maybe add hue, sorry, shadows and highlights. Let's click on default and just crush the highlights a little bit and pump up the shadows. And as you can see, this is also being added to our macro. So we can only leave those four options or we can add a little bit more of those, whatever we want. But the main idea is that we stop the recording, we add the micro to the library, like auto macro one, let's click OK. And what now we can do, we can click file, new batch job, let's just save as PNG, no parallel processing because it will fail on my PC, unfortunately. And we can add a lot of images as much as you want. So let's go here. And yeah, auto macro affinity for that. Those are my original files. Let's add all of those and save into the same folder after the macro. Okay, and here we need to find our auto macro one. We click apply. This is the applied macro that will be applied to all the images one by one. You can, for example, make everything black and white in that case also. Obviously, you can do this in Lightroom Capture One or whatever other photography software you have. Here we have our images. Here we have our macro that we recorded a minute ago. We are saving everything as a JPEG. And of course, in the macro, you can resize everything, either upscale or downscale the images. So let's just simply click OK and see our images pop up in that folder second after second. It might take a little bit of time. And there you have it. This is our first image. and one by one, they will appear here. The progress bar is not here, unfortunately. This is only you can see that, yeah, I can hear my PC actually drilling and flying to space in a minute because it's really pumping out the CPU power. We can eventually check it out here that, yeah, Affinity pretty much uses the CPU. And images are popping up here. And we're gonna click on those because those are already being done. Yeah. This is, those are the images after the macro. As you can see, not everything is perfect, but if you need something like that, you can easily do this in Affinity Photo. Just record the macro, add your images. You can use the auto settings as I clicked on the top bar and that's it. So as you can see, this was pretty decent image in the first place. So there are not much changes from the auto settings, but all the rest, let's compare. So this is the original one, this is the autotest file. Can we really see any differences? Here we can see the shadows are being lifted up by the macro. So there's that, it's just simply a little bit brighter, nothing else. And there you have it. Thanks for tuning in and bye for now.